Hey guys, so I am back with another video and in this one I wanted to talk about the things that I no longer do to my type 4 hair. Now there's many things that um, I used to do, there's many things, well, not really things that I used to do, but there's many things that I read or watched on YouTube that a lot of uh, YouTubers do say that like are beneficial to your hair but for me didn't do it the main thing that I actually never did to my hair uh, since I went natural was use heat I never and disclaimer I've used heat like I, when I blow dry my hair that's heat but I use it on like a medium setting I'm talking about I never flat ironed my hair ever since I switched over to go natural which was two years ago I feel like I um, it took me so long to get rid of my heat damage from when I had permed hair and when I used to flat iron my hair every single day when I had weaves I would flat I would flat iron the front of my hair every single day um, and it took me a while to actually outgrow that damaged hair 18 months when I before I actually really cut the rest off and I feel like I just I, I would be so mad at myself if I flat ironed my hair and I damaged it like that's why I don't flat iron my hair because first I have no desire to do it like of course one day I'm gonna do it maybe next winter is when I'll do it because I can't do it now because it's summer again where I am in Florida it's summer all the time and it only gets cold for like two weeks in like February so maybe that's when I'll do it but that's one thing I do not do anymore to my hair. Do not flat iron my hair. I have no desire to do it. And if I did do it and I damaged my hair, I would be so mad at myself. The other thing that I don't do ever since I went natural is I don't go to the hair salon anymore. I have not gone to the hair salon since I went natural. Um, basically because my type 4 hair is... Um, it's very fragile it's like a little baby and some hair some hairstylists aren't so gentle that's the best word i can put it to detangle my hair only i know how to do it i'm not even trying to sound silly like you know how your hair works when you go natural you know how you need to detangle you know how gentle you need to be or you know how rough you can be and to have an outsider come in and try to detangle my hair and she messes my hair up <laughs> i'm punching fists as i'm talking right now because it's getting me mad like i will fight you <laughs> not even getting you if you that if you break my hair because you were so rough trying to comb my hair especially when it's dry no i'm not gonna put myself at risk i'm really not i'm not gonna go to the hair salon because i can do it myself and there were some instances when i've gotten my hair done like i got my hair braided and i feel like the per there's a plane i live by the airport so no i don't go to hair salons that's one thing i stopped doing i do not go to hair salons because i do not trust anyone but me another thing that i don't do shampoo i i i used to always use shampoo once a week and i couldn't figure out why my hair was so dry my hair would just not absorb any moisture anything it would feel so freaking dry and i could not understand why i will put product in it every single day and it's still dry and i realized that it's because the shampoo is just taking away too much of the natural oils and uh, just the regular nutrients that my hair needs throughout the week. So I only co-wash. Uh, I've been co-washing for a long time and then recently, about two months ago, I finally did the porosity test and found out that I have low porosity and apparently that means that you shouldn't co-wash. So I tried shampooing again, and guess what? My hair went back to being bone freaking dry. So no, I do not use shampoo. 
another thing that I do not do um I don't do the pineapple method like I feel like if um okay the pineapple method does not work for me like some girls on YouTube can just have a bomb twist out bomb braid out a bomb perm rod set flexi rod anything three strand twist you get my gist of where I'm trying to go they'll have a bomb hairstyle and then to preserve it overnight you know you guys know the pineapple method you, you put on either a scarf or anything that'll just lift your hair up and then you go to sleep and the next day they'll just take it down and then their hair goes down and then they'll just you know shake it out it looks the same as um, the day before for me if I try to do if I do the pineapple method and my hair stays up like that overnight when I take off my scarf my hair is gonna my hair stays up like it does not just drop back like gravity just does not work on my hair like it'll just it'll it'll come out it'll look like broccoli that's a good way to that's a good way to put it like my head is the broccoli um, stem and then like the little like you know how broccoli kind of is like out like this that's how my hair looks it does not come back to this it doesn't work for me oh my God, i really hope you guys don't hear these airplanes i'm telling i live like five minutes from the airport and i just hear airplanes all day Another thing that I don't do to my hair anymore is I don't use gel anymore. It, it dries my hair out, honestly. It dries my hair out. Gel, I've not found a gel that is moisturizing. I don't know if they make a moisturizing gel. I use this once a week when I do, when, after, I, after I wash my hair. This is the only type of gel. And I'm doing this because I don't even really think it I don't think of it as gel. It's a moisturizing twist and lock gel. Okay. Well, it does say gel, but it doesn't. It, it it gives me that little bit of hold that I need throughout the whole entire week. Eco Styler I do not use anymore, only because it's just too. It dries my hair out too much. Another thing that I don't do to my hair is I um I don't do wash and goes anymore. When I finally big chopped um, last summer i was a big i was the wash and go queen and i think i only was because i was finally able to do the style because it took me a year and a half before i was actually comfortable enough with cutting off the rest of my ends so before that i was only doing twist outs and braid outs and you know all the other styles but when i finally cut off my ends um, I did wash and goes all the time and I would use eco styler gel. My curls were popping. I kid you not. I had crazy shrinkage, but I didn't really care about that because my curls were so nice. I didn't have to do anything to my hair for the whole entire week. I would just put them in little sections and go to sleep. I would wake up, take out the sections and, uh, pick them out a little bit. But oh my God, my hair was rock hard. And at first I was just like, like, whatever. I hate, I wouldn't even touch my hair because I hated the feel of it. It was so freaking hard. It was just like, even when I used to pick my hair out, it would sound like you're eating like, you know, if when you chew ice and that sound that you hear, that's how my hair sounded. <laughs> It's not healthy for your hair to have all that gel and then especially type 4 hair because it tangles your hair so much. Wash and goes give you a lot of tangles and I realized that when I was doing wash and goes that's when I had a lot of single strand knots. Those are not anymore just because of that reason. Things that I um, did start doing to my hair ever since I did go natural which I'll explain in my next video most likely but I just wanted to make this little short video just to try to open up to you guys more so and talk to you more about my natural journey um i'm still going through it i think i finally am now starting to understand how my hair works i'm finally starting to know what products to use and what not to use it took me a long it took me two years to actually realize um how my hair works it, 
it's a journey. It's a journey. It's it's a long, <laughs> drawn out journey because you're not used to this type of hair. And then when you get it, you don't know what to do. You just buy a whole bunch of products that you don't even know are going to work or not work. And then it's a long process to finally realize um, how my hair, what my hair likes, what it dislikes, what I should and shouldn't do and things of that nature but anyways thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it wasn't too boring i hope you didn't hear a lot of airplanes and i'll see you in my next video bye